Welcome back, viewers and subscribers. You are tuned into Sports to the Bone. Now today we have a we have something nice for you guys. Basically a treat. We have a top seven here. Now this top seven will be calling it seven dead logs at Manchester United. You know, so seven dead logs at Manchester United. Now these are seven players who based on performances and based on their form, we are thinking that these players should most definitely not be a part of Manchester United club anymore. Whether they are supposed to go out and loan or whether we are supposed to permanently sell them, these are seven dead logs that are no longer required to, to, to be at Manchester United. Now heading the list is the dance king himself, Mr. Jesse Lingard. No, Jesse Lingard is just not good enough for, for first team football. I mean, Jesse Lingard might be a player that you would want to come off the bench to have an impact based on his pressing ability. But based on where the English league is now, Jesse Lingard should not be starting for Manchester United or he shouldn't be, even be in the team overall if you if you should compare other midfielders from different clubs you take a look at manchester city you look at you look at david silva kevin de bruyne you look at gundawan if you want to look at the wingers you're looking at people like sterling sani when he's fit and available now if you should compare jesse lingard with these um players then jesse lingard would be way way down the pecking order so Jesse Lingard starts, it, starts off the list for us. So he was the number seven spot. Now the number six spot goes to the man himself, the man of many different faces, Mr. Phil Jones. <laughs> now Phil Jones is not, nothing short of a circus clown based on, how we, we, based on his performances on the field. I am I, I have no idea why Phil Jones is still at Manchester United. Much less starting and playing regular first team football. Phil Jones shouldn't should never be at Manchester shouldn't be at Manchester United right now. Phil Jones need to be sold immediately. No, I know persons might be might 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 be wondering, say when we sell all these players. What are we going to do? No, you don't have to buy players that 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 will cost an arm and a leg. You sell a person, a player like a Phil Jones or a player like a Jesse Lingard. The money that you get for them, you might not be able to buy a world class um, player, but at the same time, they based on the wages that these players are on. You know, if we if we need to free up those monies and use it to use it use those monies to get in better players. So, so Mr. Phil Jones holding number six position. Now, for the number f for for holding off number five, this is a player that I really really enjoyed watching when he was when he was was basically at his best when he just started playing for Manchester United. This is uh, Marcus Rojo. You know, he's a very solid centre back. Can can play also can also play some left back or right back. You know, but based on injuries and and uh, based on injuries and lack of lack of fitness, you know, he hasn't managed to fulfill his potential. So so I am thinking that we need to sell sell Marcus Rojo and use the money to get in a younger defender. Now the next one on this list at number four is Fred. Mr. Fred, now recently we have seen him putting in a couple, couple of good performances, but but a few perform a few good performances won't won't hide the fact that Fred is just not ready to to be playing um, at Manchester United. Now, if we should compare Fred once again to the midfielders of the of the top four teams in in England. We'll be looking at looking to put up Fred against, as I said before, the same David Silva, the the, the um Bernardo Silva, the Kevin De Bruyne, 
you know, we'll be looking to put up Fred against those guys and based on the numbers that Fred has managed to rack up since joining Manchester United, he, he would be way down the pecking order. Now, rounding off the number three spot on this list of deadlocks that should not be at Manchester United is a player that is actually quite talented but is just not at the standard not at the standard that we would want you know he's not a midfielder that is going to win in the premier league no andres Pereira. i am of the opinion that is either way we loan him out again or we sell him permanently andres Pereira has gotten a lot of opportunities to to prove himself to prove and to show that he actually wants to play regular first team football for Manchester United. Uh, Mark you, he has he has shown flash, flashes of brilliance one and two in one and two games, but at the same time he he is just not cutting it right now. Now at the number two spot is a player that has that is very dedicated, a very hard working player, very professional player based on what I have seen over the years. But based on what is happening now, where injuries and age is concerned, this player should be shipped off immediately because he's one of the biggest deadlock in the team right now. Whenever he's playing, he's slow, slow across the park. He's, he's unable to um, close down the players, the opponents, as, as quick as he was um, able to do a couple of years ago. And we are talking about no other than Nemanja Matic. Now, as I said before, this this um this guy is a very, very um professional player, but physically he's just not at the level anymore to compete against the top midfielders in England. Now holding off the number one spot and the main dead log at Manchester you're right. United right now is the captain himself, Mr. Ashley Young. No, Ashley Young, there is no way on God's earth Ashley Young should still be able to, to go out on the field, much less to be leading Manchester United. Ashley Young need, needs to be shipped off right now to either somewhere down China or somewhere in, in MLS. You know, we, we want to get rid of Ashley Young as soon as possible. He's unable to defend and is unable to contribute in the attacking attacking sense. So right now we need to ship off Ashley Young to, to, to some other league, um, separate and apart from this English league. So those are the seven dead logs that we are looking to get rid of out of Manchester United right now. So until next time, big up yourself.